Hello, Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today we're going to be working on making a card using the Bloom Where You're Planted Designer Series paper. And it looks like this. Very pretty plant base um, paper. Very nice. I already have our stuff cut out. Then we're also going to be using the Shaded Summer Stamp Set. We're only going to be using a couple of sentiments out of here. Okay, so thus, those are some of the supplies we're using. And we're going to be making a card using the um, Sheet Load of Cards July 2021 Card Sketch by Call Me Crafty Al, okay? But before we get into making our card, of course we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day. Exciting news. A couple of days ago, our designer series paper sale started. 15% off select papers from the annual catalog. And those papers are Beauty of the Earth, Bloom Where You're Planted, Hand Pinned, In Good Taste, in the Wild, Pansy Petals, Sweet Symmetry, Tidings of Christmas, and You're a Peach. All of those um, papers are on sale right now, 15% off until the 2nd of August, okay? Next up, we have the kits collections. And again, these kits can only be found online at the online store. So you can go with, go to shopwithshauna.stampitup.net and you can go to shop now and look for the kits. These kits are available only while supplies last, okay? Then we have our paper pumpkin kit. Yay, you guys know I love the paper pumpkin. So this kit is for July. It's called The Adventure Begins. You have until July 10th to subscribe to get this particular kit. Um, link will be in the description, the description box below if I can talk. And, um, you can also find the link on my blog for that. Then we have the join special, which is our always our special to join Stamp It Up and be a part of my team, Honeybee Stamping Hive. It costs $99 plus tax. Your shipping is free. And for that $99, you get $125 worth of products plus a business starter kit and a paper pumpkin. And I would love, love, love to have you on my team. And as always, I have a monthly host code that can be found on my blog or on my Facebook page at Honeybee Stamping Hot, okay? And this is the July host code. And that is all of the business we have to go over today. So now we can get into making our project. So let's get started. I have all the pieces cut and ready to go because this is the Call Me Crafty Owl um, card sketch. So below I will link um, her video where you can, she tells you how to get the download to create these cards. All, so she'll have all those, um, what do you call the measurements for you, okay? So I am changing my card up a bit from hers, just so you know, when you see hers, mine's, is, I changed the base. My base is six and a quarter by six and a half scored at three and a quarter okay she doesn't have a base like this and then i have a layer here of designer series paper that is six by three and i have some basic white that is six by three to go on the inside with a strip of paper designer paper and um this is six by three and three quarters so we're going to go ahead and glue this on. I do believe that's what I want to do. So I'm going to just sit this right next to here. So I'll know how far up to put my glue. Oh man, this must be a new glue. It's coming out pretty quick. I wasn't expecting that. So we'll go ahead and glue this and I probably should have waited to glue this because I need to stamp on this layer. But that's okay. We'll just have to make sure we do a good job when stamping so let's see let me go ahead and stamp this so on this one we are going to be stamping with the cinnamon cider 
and that that's did I say this is cinnamon cider this is cinnamon cider <laughs> and we're going to stamp the sentiment may the good you do come back to you we're just going to stamp that right in the middle here there you go and that's all the stamping for this piece and I'm going to go ahead and glue this in to the inside of our card using our multi-purpose liquid glue because you guys know I have to use the liquid glue to give me some wiggle room just in case I don't place it down straight which is you know most of the time <laughs> so we're just gonna put that right in there and that's the inside of this piece done and we're gonna go ahead and add the designer paper also I don't know why I keep closing up this glue add this designer paper to the outside I love this paper it's so pretty I couldn't decide which side I wanted to use but I wanted to use cinnamon cider so that's how I chose what side <laughs> you just layer that on okay so we'll have that part done next we have some just jade and this part is going to be kind of like a fun fold. What is it called? The book binding fold. Hers, she had like punched some holes here and did some twine. But I didn't want to punch holes, but I do have some twine. I'm going to tie some twine around here. And this is the twine from the Expressions in Color Paper Pumpkin Kit for June 2021. You can still purchase the refill kits for this. And I will have that linked below as well in the description box. So let's just wrap this around a couple of times. And we're just gonna tie it in a, in a knot, I believe I want just a knot. Not a bow. Just gonna tie it like that. And I wanna push it really close to this score line, but not past the score line. Because what I'm gonna do, where's my scissors so I can cut this trim this twine there I'm gonna glue this closed and I don't want the trim the thread to be on this side of the fold line okay so we're just gonna go ahead and glue this down trying not to squeeze too much of glue out We're going to just glue that down. Then I have some um, layers for this front. And this is also um, from the same designer series paper pack. It's like a wood grain. And I'm just going to put this on this side over here. Just layer that up and I have a piece for the inside this white piece is cut at um, I do believe let me see four by two and a half I believe or two and a quarter something like that we're gonna stamp on this one and on this one we're gonna stamp in evening evergreen because that is the color of our twine and we're gonna stamp above and beyond you go there a lot. We're gonna stamp that right in the middle towards the top. Perfect. Oh, close that up so we don't make a mess. And then I have some of the same um, paper here. We're gonna put on the bottom of this layer. And this um, paper measures, I think, four by a half inch. So we're just gonna put this right on here. Just line it up, get it on there good. It's a little overhang, so I'll just cut that off. My hands are getting sticky. I want to add some adhesive to the back of this layer. Just 
And we're gonna put this right on the inside of here. Whoops. Okay. And then what we need to do next, I'm close up my glue because we're gonna pause from doing our stamping and everything. We're going to bring in the mini stamping cut and emboss machine, which I have affectionately named the baby boss. And we're gonna bring in our layering circle guys. They look like this. You have scalloped and smooth edge circles. And we're gonna use the largest smooth edge. Get my plates, where's my paper? And we're just gonna cut a circle out. Get my top plate. Just run this through and cut out a circle. I love this little mini machine. Okay, now that we have this, this is about a three inch circle. We're gonna get our paper trimmer and we're gonna cut it in half. So it's about three inches. Let's see. Yep, it's about three inches. We're gonna cut it in half at one and a half. So we're just gonna put the edge of that right there. Bring our cutter down. So now we have two pieces. You can use this on two different cards because we only need a half a piece for our card. We're gonna just put this kind of right here. So what we're gonna do on this one is stamp on it with Just Jade and the sentiment, thank you. And I'm gonna put it towards the left here because the right side we can cut off. So I don't wanna put it right in the middle. So I don't want too much of it, too much blank space. And that's all of our stamping. And now I'll just see how much of this I want on here. And we'll just glue it down. So because this is gonna be hanging over a bit, I'm gonna get my silicone mat. Hmm. I'm trying to see, I think I like papers like this. Okay. So what do I need? My liquid glue. And we're gonna only put glue, try to put it on this portion on the back. just gonna put that over here so line up that straight edges and I need my gunky scissors whoops because I don't want to get glue on my good scissors oh I did good with the glue <laughs> I didn't come over too much okay we're just gonna cut that off like that I'm going to save this for another project because I might make some more cards using this design because it is pretty cute. Then we're going to take some glue and glue this designer series paper down to the front of the Just Jade. Just like this. And then we're going to take this one and glue it down to our cinnamon cider piece. So we wanna make sure we get that adhesive all over. So this card opens two different directions. centered in there so to open thank you above and beyond you go there a lot may the good you do come back to you I like that and then just for the final touch let me see I like the way that twine is I'm gonna get glue dots because I want to add an embellishment where's my take your pick tool going to use one of the um, 
what are these called? The Bumblebee Trinkets. These are in the annual catalog. I love these little things. So I'm just gonna get a glue dot and stick. Hmm, I think I wanna put it up. Oh, did I do? Oh no, I folded that one up. <laughs> Let's try again. I'm gonna put it right up here. I think it's easier to put the glue dot down where you want it to be, and then just put the little trinket on top. Let me, let me see if I can pick that up, but yep. And I want it to be like that. And there we go. That is our card, done. What do you think? So the book binding fun fold in the front, then a mini slim line card for the bottom portion. Cute, right? I think so. <laughs> okay, you guys, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.